what is the ruling or advice on seeking worldly knowledge in general and at a university level specifically? Question from, from Augusta North Cyphers. What is your advice on seeking worldly knowledge in general and on a university level specifically? There's nothing wrong with seeking worldly knowledge. There's nothing wrong with it. Rather, sometimes it's recommended. Sometimes it's obligatory. Because the Muslims need people with worldly skills as well. Of course, knowledge of the deen, knowledge of Allah, his names and his attributes, that's the foundation. That's the best of the best. But that's not for every single person on that high level. And if it wasn't for knowledge of the dunya, there would be no live stream. I wouldn't be holding this microphone. There would be no internet. There would be no phone. When I get sick, when I get hungry, when my feet hurt, when it's too far for me to travel, I'm, a, I'm now in debt to the what? To the worldly science. So we need doctors, lawyers, engineers, carpenters, bakers, politicians, and the list goes on of the necessity of life. All right? So there's nothing wrong with seeking worldly knowledge. It is not as best, of course, as the knowledge of the dean, but it's nothing what? There's nothing wrong with it at all. And we do not promote that. We do not promote that it's bad to seek worldly knowledge. Do we promote it's best to seek knowledge of the deen and of hadith? Yes, for sure. But it doesn't mean that we what go against that. Are we understanding this? As some people say, or one person, he says, you're a racist. He says, I'm not a racist. He says, I don't hate any other races. I just love what? I love my own. So the point I'm trying to get to is, this is a very important principle to understand what a term means. We promote knowledge of the deen. That does not mean that we what? Demote what? It does not mean that. But we're trying to call to what we feel is best. And the same applies to in the deen, Islam. If I say be a student of hadith, that doesn't mean that it's, you can't be a student of sharia or aq. No, that doesn't mean that. does not mean that, all right? So therefore, it's nothing wrong with worldly science as long as the science is permissible. As long as it's permissible to learn and permissible to practice. And obviously, it's something which is a benefit to the Muslims. And everyone is needed for a successful Islamic community. Everybody. If we need a scholar, we need a butcher. What is the scholar going to eat if there's no one who, 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 who slaughters the animals and cuts the animals? He says, I want lamb chops. My favorite meal is, is lamb chops over rice. What is he going to eat? So many people, unfortunately, they become so narrow-minded and, and yani, they say, oh, only be an engineer and a doctor. That's it. The Muslims need engineers and doctors. And that's it? What good is the engineer without the, the other sciences? The doctor can't do nothing if he doesn't have electricity and running water. And if, he, if there's not security at the hospital. So everything is what is always what? Needed. Everyone is what needed. And even at the, the meanest job, as I said, a butcher, someone who does with blood and meat. If there's no butcher in the community, the scholar, the doctor, the engineer can't what? He can't eat food. He doesn't know how to slaughter an animal. He can't cut the animal up, let alone the cook, the chef. So many Muslims, unfortunately, they only want their children to be one thing, just be an engineer. What if a child says, I want to be a chef. I want to study culinary arts. I don't want to be an engineer. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to sit behind a desk all day. I don't want to go to school for 10 years and have a million dollars of debt. I want to be a cook. I like cooking. I like making people happy through food. What's wrong with that? So we have problems with zealots and extremists pertaining to knowledge of the deen. We have zealots and extremists pertaining to knowledge of the what? Of the dunya. Balance is always what is needed in any aspect. Balance. So there's nothing wrong with studying the dunya and having a profession in the dunya as long as it's not haram. And obviously you should prioritize. Try to study and try to practice that which the Muslims need the most. And even if you don't do that, which makes you happy as long as it's not against Allah and His Messenger. It's just that what? Simple. Simple. There's no complication whatsoever. Everyone understand this? As far as studying in a university, then we all know the problems that come from that. And we all know the benefits that come from that. Some of the problems that come from the university, of course, is free mixing. And being with girls and guys and people that are homosexuals and sitting with them. And you can't just go to a school and take your, you know, your exam and go home. A reputable school. Some schools, yes. But if you're in a reputable school, a top school, they don't accept you unless you're a team player. They don't accept you unless you have the team spirit. And you're a part of the university. And we're all what? Friends and colleagues. Am I making this up? They promote these things, these activities. They promote these different uh, times in which you actually bond with your classmates. It's not like you can just go get the degree and do what? Go home. Rather, we know that there are different political stances, religious stances, historical stances that you're forced to take if you bear a degree from a certain school. They may ask you about something. What happened? 
Or do you think this is real? Is this a such thing? And he says, no, that's not true. That's that's a lie. And they'll say, what? Give us our what? Give us our degree back. There's no way you can bear the name of Harvard or Yale or this Princeton University and you're talking like that. And that's deep. I've left the university. I'm a graduate. I earned this degree. I paid for it or a scholarship. But it's my degree. And they do what? They want to what? Revoke it because of the sheer power of the name and the reputation. To go to show you that alumni and students are not just people who do what? Go and leave. But you're now what? No question. And the same applies to sports. You can play on a small team. You can volunteer. This, But if you're playing on a serious team on a high level, there is no, I'm a Muslim, you're kufar. We don't hang out. We don't go do this. No. The people don't play as one cohesive unit on the field unless they what? No question. I have to know the mindset of my quarterback and the quarterback the mindset of the running back. I know what type of coffee he drinks. I know what type of beer he drinks. I know what type of girls he goes out. I know all of that because he's the one who's protecting me from the blitz when it comes. He's picking up the block. He's picking up the rush. I have to be able to depend on him and rely on him. I have to know how he thinks. And that's why all organized sports, they always promote what? Total camaraderie all the time. And there's no one person. Everyone understand this? Everybody clear on this or not? So this is a problem you go to college. You have to be a part of that lifestyle. You have to be with those non-Muslims. You have to be with those sinful Muslims or those ignorant Muslims. Let alone the fitna of Nisa, women that are uncovered, men that are uncovered, people mixing and flirting, and so on and so forth. Drugs, we all know that's the reality of college. Okay? Also, the concept of debt and being in debt for many, many years. And the concept of riba and paying off loans and student loans. Is it permissible for me to take the loan? These are all some of the problems of what? College, let alone you studying something which isn't that beneficial. There are a million people who have the same degree. You come out of college and you can barely find a job. You may find a job, a brother who's a plumber. Or he works in heating and cooling. And he gets a what? A job like that. Six month training program, he's employed. Benefits, union, he can take care of family, he can get married. And find a brother with a big fat degree with thousands and thousands of dollars of interest, he can't find a job. Because that field is saturated. It's flooded. There are too many people who all want to be a uh, what? Pediatrician or this or that. I'm not saying all of it, but I'm trying to make a point here of how people just get stuck in one profession. There's so many different professions out there. And there's so many professional places that pay money and give you benefits and take care of you for someone who's ready to start. So there are many things to be in life. Your child doesn't just have to be one thing. I remember, I'm speaking to parents now. So these are some of the problems of college. Some of the benefits of college, of course... Is that you get formal standardized education. There are certain jobs that will not accept you. They won't look your way unless you have a what? Degree. No matter how skilled you are. No matter how smart you are. No matter how much of a good honest worker you are. They don't even look your way. Unless you have a piece of paper. And that, because that piece of paper means something. It what? It means something. Alright. Oftentimes people they say I want to study online. And I can't go into the university. There are some jobs. Or even Saudi Arabia in which they won't accept what? An online degree. Because they know how people lie, how people cheat, how people steal. Or they know that the education in person is not like the education on what? Online. So these are some of the pros and some of the what? Cons of college. And there are many other pros and many other cons. What's important is if you have doubt, if you're uncomfortable, don't go to college. Period. It's just that what? It does not get simpler than that. If you don't feel doubtful and you feel like it's permissible... Or it's a necessity and it's what we have to do. Then go to college. Bismillah. Put your trust in the law. Ask the law for protection. And what? Keep it moving. Handle your business. It's just that simple. Next question.